In the previous video in this series, I finished cleaning up the imperfections in the model. Now, in this video, I'll continue by using multi-zone methods to generate a hex mesh. First, I'll prepare the blade. The blade is attached to an intersection region, which is also connected to the hub. The hub and the blade will be swept in different directions, so I'll insert a face meshing control on the intersection region to ensure that I will get an all-mapped hex mesh in this region. Now I can prepare the blade itself. Because there are multiple source faces, I'll insert a multi-zone mesh method and set the source faces. I'll also add inflation to ensure that I get a high quality hex mesh. The preparation is complete for the blade, so now I'll add a multi-zone mesh control to the plate. Finally, I'll add a sweep method for the sweepable bodies. Now I can mesh the entire model. The bodies need to be meshed in the correct order, so I'll use the mesh worksheet to ensure that the mesh will be generated correctly. I need to mesh the blade first, then the bodies directly underneath it, and then the plate. I'll create a named selection for each of these bodies so that I can add them to the mesh worksheet. I'll set the correct meshing order in the worksheet and then generate the mesh for the entire model. Now I can review the completed mesh. This concludes this demonstration of using virtual topologies to clean up topological problems and multi-zone methods to mesh the bodies that can't be sweep meshed.